Hi, St. Paul's. It's Katie May, your minister to youth, children, and families. I am here today to bring something that you all can do as we head into Holy Week. Um, this is called Holy Week in a Box, except we're going to do it a little bit virtually. And these are things that you can get from home. And so this is a great way for us to remind ourselves, kind of what does this week mean in our, in our church? So some things that you'll need. You'll need a small box, a figure, you can do a wooden figure, you can do a Lego, whatever you may have around your home. Cut out some paper palms. Three coins, these are chocolate coins, but you can use whatever you would like for that. A marker, pipe cleaners, and a piece of cloth. So just like we do in Sunday school and in chapel, I am going to light our candle so we remember that we are in God's house and that this is a special time for us to remember. If I could light the candle. Okay. So our candle is lighted is lit and it is time for us to tell our story for the day. It is Palm Sunday. The people cut down palms and they cheered as Jesus walked into Jerusalem. So hold those palms as a family. Now on Holy Monday, Jesus came to Jerusalem and he went to the temple. There people were cheating others out of their money and Jesus was very angry. So I want you to grab one of your coins and put it into the box. Now, the religious leaders asked Jesus if it was right to pay taxes to the Roman emperor. And so on Holy Tuesday, I want you to take your second coin and put it into your box. Now on Holy Wednesday, I want you to take that third coin and remember that Jesus watched people in the temple giving money to God. Some people made a big show of giving lots and lots of money, but one person didn't. And she just put one coin, all that she had. Now on Maundy Thursday, we remember that this was the last Passover meal Jesus had with his friends. I want you to use the top of your back and I want you to draw a cup and a plate on it. Or if you have clay at home, you can make those as well. And I want you to set Jesus right beside the table. On Good Friday, the religious leaders, they wanted to get rid of Jesus. They told lies about him. Jesus wasn't arrested and it was a very, very sad day because the authorities put Jesus to death on a cross. So I want you to take your pipe cleaners and I want you to make a cross out of them. And then we're going to place Jesus in front of our box. When Jesus had died, his friends took his body down from the cross and they wrapped him in a linen cloth. They placed Jesus' body in a tomb cut out of rock. So I want us to wrap Jesus in our cloth and we're going to place him in the box and put the lid on it. Now on Saturday, everything was so still. You could almost hear the earth breathe. There was nothing that could be done. Holy Saturday is a waiting day. I want you to place a tea light by your box as a way of showing that you're remembering and that we're waiting for something special. Now on Easter, that early Easter morning, that early Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb and had an amazing surprise. I want you to open your box I want you to take that cloth out with Jesus in it 
And I want you to place Jesus at the side of it. And remember that this is a special, special day where Jesus is raised from the dead. Now, I hope that you can find ways to do this as a family at home. It is a great way for us to remember the Easter story, the Passion Week, and all of the things that come with such a special holiday. But I also want us to remember that while we are not together on Easter Sunday, we are still a church family. We are still with one another, and I am miss missing all of you each and every day, and I cannot wait until we can be reunited again soon. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful Palm Sunday and Easter.